awesome target bird for the whole trip. Today, I'm in southeastern Arizona with my friend Nathaniel, and this morning, we're looking for a bird that's our top target to see for our entire time in Arizona. We are up bright and early to look for a signature species of southeast Arizona and one that uh, me and Nathaniel both would really love to get, which is the elegant trogan. So we're picking up our friend Chris, and then we're going to go to some of the areas where the habitat is really great for these birds. So hopefully we're able to find a couple doing their thing. Um, the first time I saw different types of trogans in Costa Rica, they were a lot smaller than I thought. So even though they have those bright colors like those reds and greens, they can still be pretty difficult to find. We picked up Chris and drove towards our destination, Ramsey Canyon. Ramsey Canyon features a spring-fed stream and a cool environment in the Huachuca Mountains, perfect for sycamore trees and the birds that live in them. It is part of the Sky Islands, which are high elevation areas that pop up among the dry grasslands, providing unique and crucial habitat for tropical bird species. The canyon is protected by the Nature Conservancy, and it's worth noting that as of now, the preserve is only open at certain times, including being closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. As the sun rose, we started to see different birds and picked out some interesting species from the road. Common raven. So we are driving down to Ramsey Canyon and we are cruising the road. It was tough because we saw a lot of stuff, but we couldn't really stop. So now we are in a place where we can actually make some stops. So excited to get some good birds. Nathaniel got his life for white winged dove. So that's awesome and we'll see what else we can get. As we're going to Ramsey Canyon on this road, we're switching habitats. And so the first part, we are going through desert scrub, which has a whole different number of birds like Verdon, Lucy's Warbler, etc. Now we're going into the oak scrub, which then starts the change of another group of birds like acorn woodpecker, whiskered screech owls, and things like that. Eventually, we arrived at the Ramsey Canyon parking lot and were treated to loads of hummingbirds, wild turkeys, and calling sulfur bellied flycatchers. This place has been incredible so far. We just got in, there's hummingbirds all over, uh, sulfur-bellied flycatchers calling, but we haven't been able to see them yet. Like we see birds flying, but we haven't gotten a good view, and that's one I'd be really excited to see. But beautiful hummingbirds chasing each other, different species, turkeys, deer, this place is awesome. After a little bit of searching, we were able to see some sulfur-bellied flycatchers out in the open. The sulfur-bellied flycatcher is known for its bright coloration and distinctive call which sounds similar to a squeaky toy. They are a late spring migrant to Arizona that can be found in sycamore walnut canyons, normally near streams, and they provide a touch of the tropics to the U.S. Sulfur-bellied flycatchers feed on insects as well as small fruits and berries. During courtship, pairs engage in duets, and they can be seen competing with other species for nesting cavities, including elegant trogans. In Arizona, they normally nest in cavities in sycamore trees high above the ground. The female constructs the nest with plant material, and both parents assist in feeding the young. What do you think of that sulfur belly? Very cool. They remind me of like a southern version of a great crested or something. They remind me a lot of the female vermilion flycatchers, but squeakier. A rare bear line hummingbird had previously been reported at the feeders, and we glimpsed it briefly before walking the trails to look for trogans, which we had the best chance to see in the morning. On the way, Chris told us more about the habitat requirements for these birds, and what vocalizations we should be listening for. So, Chris, what are the big things we're looking and listening for? Uh, a dog bark like a whoa, 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 whoa. And that's the male. Setting the territory just again, reminding other trogans that this is his area. Chris also mentioned how important the sycamore trees are in this environment. The white trees are the sycamores, and they're a very important tree in the canyons here because sulfur bellied flycatchers and elegant trogans nest in the sycamore tree. We walked down further and spotted a preening violet crowned hummingbird 
and an extremely tame painted red star before noticing a group of people intently staring into the trees. They had found some trogans. Awesome. Target bird for the whole trip. The elegant trogan is a prized bird to see in the United States. They are the only trogan species reliably found north of Mexico and are known for the striking red and green colors of the male. Females and juveniles are more dull in color, but have beautiful white teardrop lines below their eyes. The name trogan in Greek means gnar, which according to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology refers to their diet of insects and their hooked bill. Elegant trogans are known as secondary cavity nesters, which means they nest in tree cavities, but cannot make the cavities themselves, so they rely on other birds such as woodpeckers to hollow out them originally. They can normally be found in select mountain canyons, especially those with oaks, pines, or sycamores. We had quick looks at the trogan group, which contained multiple individuals, but we got the best views of one juvenile. Unfortunately, they quickly moved off into the forest. We were stoked about our sighting, but also hoped we might get to see them again later in the day. Feeling good, saw some trogans. So we are gonna move on and see if we can get some more trogan views or see some other new species. We continued down the path and took some time to appreciate a unique species of amphibian, the Chiricahua leopard frog. This is a species that's in pretty good decline. And so they have little areas like this protected for these these really special frogs to the Huachuca Mountains and to this area in southeastern Arizona. And so some places are doing all right, but some, some areas are having a real tough time still reestablishing these frogs in water areas. In addition to the frogs, we spotted a brown creeper, a group of bridal titmice, and another one of our target species for the trip, the Arizona woodpecker. The Arizona woodpecker is a chocolate-backed bird with a brown and white barred stomach. Males also have a red patch on their head. The range of this species is limited to select areas of Mexico and barely reaches into Arizona and New Mexico. Arizona woodpeckers are normally found in pine oak and sycamore walnut forests at moderate elevations and are known to land on the base of a tree and move around it to look for food. Their diet consists mostly of beetle larvae, other insects, fruits, and nuts, and they can often be observed prying bark off of trees or hammering into them to look for food. Nests are made in tree cavities, and they normally have two to four eggs per clutch. Arizona woodpecker. Arizona woodpecker. Had bridal titmice views. I really love those guys. They have the cool facial pattern with the white. Would definitely love to see more, but we had a great experience with an Arizona woodpecker hanging out in the tree right above us, just kind of picking at the bark. So that chocolatey back. Nathaniel said it's kind of like a hairy woodpecker of Arizona, which it, it, it's very similar to that. So some great finds and keep trekking, hoping to find a trogan again. We continued our loop, spotting many other species, including a western flycatcher looking for insects, a summer tanager working its way through the foliage, and a perched Rivoli's hummingbird taking a rest. We didn't see or hear any other trogans, so we stopped back at the hummingbird feeders to get better looks at the barrel line hummingbird, which ended up coming right up to the pine tree overhead. There it is. That's it right there. That's it. The barrel line hummingbird is normally found in Central America, but some do make it up to the United States almost annually. They are named for their green plumage, which looks similar to a sea green gem called barrel. So we had the bear line hummingbird, it actually flew like right above us and it's been coming to the feeder as well. And then we also had a male calliope, but somebody came down and said the trogans were still hanging out. So we're actually going to go back up to see if we can get some better views, hopefully of the male out in the open. Um, so that's kind of our first order of business, try and get some more views and then uh, we'll see where we can go from there. Are we going to get better trogan views? Uh, I don't know. I don't have much hope on this. Despite Nathaniel's negativity, with a little patience and some help from other birders, we were able to get our best view of one of the juvenile trogans perched on a branch. We did it. We got another view. We did. Short, but, but good. We did get better looks at one of the juvenile trogans, so that's incredible. Um, we were sitting in the spot where they'd been seen, 
And then a couple came by, asked if they saw anything cool, and they said they saw two juveniles up here. So we went up there. There were some other people we saw earlier who had it, and they showed it to us, and we got a nice look at it out in the open. Would love to have seen the male with the beautiful red, but can't be upset about the view we got of that juvenile. So awesome. Got our trogans. Pretty stoked. A lot of other cool stuff, too. Would definitely recommend Ramsey Canyon if you're in the area. On our way back to the visitor center, we had one more cool find. Some, uh people we met showed us where a violet crowned hummingbird nest is. So not only did we get to see the hummingbird, we get to see the little lichen nest that it made. Nice. All in all, we had an incredible time burning Ramsey Canyon and saw 10 different species of hummingbirds in addition to our main target, the elegant trogan. The unique habitat coupled with the high diversity of interesting birds made it an awesome stop, and I would highly recommend a visit if you're in town. Which bird was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.